Hello. Happy new patriarch, Em. Happy new patriarch to you too, B. Thank you. Truly, he is our new patriarch. Axios. He is not my patriarch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there is one pet peeve that I really hate hearing, uh, that is uh, that is X is not my Y. Whenever yeah. I hear that in whatever context, I'm like, he is. Whatever what, what he is, is not, not my president. Me. What is Sorry? Not my, what is not my president? But he is. <laughs> Uh, he, he's like my top example of that right now, even though that got popularized, with, I believe, with uh, Trump is not my president, but then it got here uh, as Vucic is not my president, and some people like Irenaeus is not my patriarch. And... Yes, he is, darling. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. And... Let's comment. What wasn't your first choice? was my first choice but also it wasn't our choice anyways <laughs> yeah and thank god and thank god <laughs> yeah and and you actually sent a very 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 decent facebook post from a, a questionable guy but but a, but a decent objective analysis of um well i actually like the guy in terms of he's super fun like yeah can be super fun but but there's some things about him that, that are <laughs> i'm not talking about the patriarch guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> De definitely not talking about the patriarch i'm talking about the author of the facebook post and be shared with me which i will not share with you because you don't deserve it <laughs> I'm just kidding. i don't even know where it, where it is but it was pretty yeah. objective it talked about the fact that we've we 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 just uh, we've gotten a patriarch who is young capable um, and knows how to balance things uh, and, and went through a very, very complex uh, position uh, being the Metropolitan of Zagreb, which is um, a position that entails, I guess, curing, curing a, a decades old, well, actually maybe even centuries old yeah. uh, a division between the Croatian and Serbian peoples, Croatians being Roman Catholics, Serbians being Christian Orthodox, and never get you know having good um, mutual relations like never. If you yeah. if you go deep down in history, like it's it's bad. And needless to say that um, well, actually I'm not going to talk about yes, you know it's now. Um, no. But sometimes, sometimes we will. Uh, but but you know, and and from that perspective, I've listened to his first, let's call it inauguration speech. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, where he he asked us, uh, the the people, to pray for him, and that that kind of struck me struck me as as the. the as reality tends to do, boy, is it hard to be a patriarch. Oh, yeah. Boy, is it hard to be a patriarch after Patriarch Paul and Patriarch Irineus in Serbia with Vucic in power and everything that's going on in Serbia and in the world right now. Yes. Dear, dear God, is it hard to be a patriarch. And for all of those being like, he's not my patriarch, you know, ecumenists kissed the Pope's hand. Uh, you know, you know, those people, like he's an ecumenist, he kissed the Pope's ring. Those people are really a minority of those he's not my patriarch. Huge majority of people who say he's not my patriarch are, are those really liber liberal types who are rooting for a different bishop purely for his opposition to our current president <laughs> like those people don't even go to church no it's it's not it's not only that like the, he has a lot I of know. charisma and he knows how to cater 
to different types of people. But yeah. you know, you know when you know the the best the best sentiment about this was a tweet which which went down the lines of oh my god the atheists have their candidate <laughs> literally <laughs> literally you know because yeah. because you would see people who are absolutely have nothing to do with church or religion or spirituality being like my patriarch you know bishop bishop gregory or yes gregorius or whatever you would uh, by the way, for some context for a Western audience, this bishop is not for, I don't know, gay relationships or uh, for allowing abortion. He's nothing for that. No, uh, no. Which is something people may assume that he's for due to Western type narratives. So he's not for that. But he's really an outspoken uh, critic of our current president. And out of those political opposition, these liberal types, uh, by the way, you don't have to be liberal to oppose our current president, as many of conservatives are, are opposed to him. But uh, uh, the way this, uh, the reason these people were rooting for that Bishop uh, Gregory is precisely because of politics, not, not and yeah. nothing that pre really pertains to religion in any sort of way. And they're on, they, they, they've seriously misunderstood the role of the church. Um, oh yeah, and you know they might have been looking into what happened in Montenegro, um, which is a completely different thing. You know, the 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 the, the church um, the, was on the defense. You know, um, yeah, it was it was um, it was a you know all people, all Christian um, move against a very discriminatory law that practically aims to destroy the Serbian Orthodox Church uh, in, 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 in Montenegro, which is, you know, you can't compare that. It's like, <laughs> you really can't compare that, you know? Um, True. Going, get, getting away with, uh, with Milo Djukanovic's uh, ruling party of 30 somewhat years of, of, of rule uh, versus getting rid of Vucic and, and the, the current it's 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 a completely different thing, especially because Vucic never attacked the church, you know, um, and he actually tried to use it many times uh, to manipulate. Uh, well, he never attacked the church openly. Open. If you exactly. don't have secret info that I have. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. I'm aware, and that's that's one of the things where I kind of. Did a, you but know, yeah, it, is still, it is a still a huge difference from Montenegro situation. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, um, anyways, the atheists lost. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because they didn't get the patriarch they wanted. Um, and uh, even though I was like, I have uh, pretty much someone in mind i'm still like i didn't really think about it that much to be quite honest with you uh we mentioned that a bit uh, you know before before yeah. the quote-unquote elections um but i i didn't really care that much the only thing is i now need to get myself used to saying patriarch porphyrius yeah and and it took me it took me a while to get used to patriarch Irinius as well. Um, yeah, took took me a while, and I kind of feel sorry for our late patriarch because, you know, after patriarch Paul was the such a hard role, such a such so so big shoes, so big of of, of a pair of shoes that you need to fill. Yeah, and I think you know people will forget him very very quickly, and that's. It's it's a bit sad, and uh, uh, I, I I'm I'm gonna do my best to you know just put him in in my regular like yeah. career for the that's that's only fair of us you know even though I didn't necessarily agree with everything he, everything he did I didn't most mm -hmm. certainly did not agree with the way he was uh, flirting with with the government and all that but again I don't know what went behind that and again as we've as I've said before. 
at the beginning, God, how hard it is to be a patriarch, like how challenging it is Amen. to do that. Amen. Now imagine salvation, you know, so salvation. Hey, Where, uh, the only uh, uh, important thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think uh, that Petro Kirinius did two things that uh, uh, one is not so apparent, but was so needed in the church. And that is like um, fixing some things, some, some administrative things, which completely fell apart during Paul. And, you know, uh, I like to joke that uh, you're either a saint uh, or uh, or a good administrator, and <laughs> those two seem to be exclusive. Like uh, very rarely uh, do they both click. And uh, uh, Irenaeus was the administrator. Well, and... well, well. Look, be so, sorry for interrupting you, but mm -hmm. when you compare him to Patriarch Paul, you can say, you know, okay, he was a manager, and 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 Patriarch yeah. Paul was a spiritual father. Yeah, but it's only in comparison, you know. Yeah, yeah, of you, you course. Don't, you don't really know how well of a spiritual father he actually was. Be oh, no, no, because no, you're constantly absolutely. because you're constantly comparing him to Patriarch Paul, who was yeah, who is a saint. Yeah. In my heart, there's no doubt about the fact that this, this, this is a saint. So Im imagine having to feel those shoes. And, and yeah. again, going back to people who are like, this is not my patriarch, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But as a Christian, as a, as a member of the Orthodox, Serbian Orthodox Church especially, mm -hmm. you pray for your patriarch. You know? It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a big part of the liturgy. Yeah, yeah. Um, a very important part. Very important part. I mean, okay when you're in Belgrade, it's one thing, you, you pray for the patriarch in every liturgy, where if you're outside, you pretty much pray for the local bishop. Yeah. Uh, but by praying for your local bishop, you're also praying for, 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 the, for the patriarch. Um, so same thing goes for the fact that I don't pray for our president, for example. And we spoke about this very briefly. Yeah. I, I have a serious problem, and that's I'm in sin for that for sure. I I feel like I'm doing something wrong. You know, I should I should pray, but I the thing is when I want to, I can't. Like the words, they 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 are not coming out. You know, so it's one of those moments where I need to literally say, God, you know what's in my heart. Please accept it because I can't. You know, I. I can't articulate a single word, word, you know? I can't mix anything good with, with our president in, in sentence. You know, I've, I've, I've looked at how many Americans, for example, hate on Trump. Mm -hmm. and I was like, I was like, you know, th this guy looks ridiculous, okay? The things he said, the things he does, but then some things he, he does he didn't start any wars that's that's pretty cool uh, that i think i think that <laughs> that thing alone is worthy of salvation of an american president <laughs> yeah exactly exactly but i found myself to be a bit of a hypocrite for for being like judgy judgy for people who are like you know trump you know get him out and all that because that's how i feel about our president you know is it the same though I don't know. I, I think in, in, in the United States they, they have a bit of a <laughs> they have a bit of a problem. It's they only have only two choice choices and I don't know, like it's it's very binary. It's either Republicans or Democrats. There's nothing in between. Um, there is in between. There's no chance in hell that they can well, well, win. That means there isn't. That's that's the point. And and I know, it's, I know. it's it's the, the feelings are very very hard, you know. And the labeling is very very harsh. And people mm -hmm. actually like fall apart very easily. It's it's a, such a binary polarized society. Mm -hmm. I mean, Americans, correct me if I'm wrong. And I I really do not mean to insult. And I couldn't care less about Trump or biden or obama or whomever like i just like to look at the memes <laughs> uh, happy biden americans <laughs> uh, 
you know, I saw a tweet that really made me laugh. Like, uh, wear your mask. Uh, it says, worth it if it saves at least one life. When Bomb Syria. <laughs> it was I like, know. oh I man, know. this is dark. I know. I know. But Look, back to the patriarch. Yeah, but, but mm. just FYI, I don't expect Serbians who were bombarded by Americans to have an objective position. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't. Just, just uh, the, the second I hear, you know, Americans throwing bombs, I'm like. Yeah. Um, uh, the second thing that I think that the picture of Kyrgyz will be remembered is that during uh, his tenure, uh, the temple. The cathedral of St. Sava was finally finished. What was it, like 30 years? More? Oh, I 50? think it was like 70 years. 70? I, oh, or maybe it was even 30. Let me check. But it took its sweet time. Yeah, yeah. And I think, and I think that uh, uh, it is amazing that during his tenure, one of the, the most beautiful churches in orthodoxdom finally got completed after, uh, to be quite honest, uh, I remember saying like, I only wish I can see it finished before I die. And they did. <laughs> I went there two times, even though it's like five minutes from here. I'm horrible. Okay, so, oh my God. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, the first stone was laid in 1935. 35. Wow. It easily could have been a century. Easily. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But the, it, it was stopped. Yep, yep. Uh, due to communists, uh, well, Second World War, then the communist came. The war, then the war happened, and then communism happened. Uh, nothing good happened, as, uh, at least as regards uh, to, to that poor church. Yep. But yeah, I think that the uh, patriarch Kyrgyz will be remembered for this, and this is a very big thing. Uh, you know that I'm not really for big spending and so on, but I think that when things are done in a quality manner, when some things testify uh, for the glory of God, I think this is definitely it. Yeah. Um, so I gotta uh, be honest, I, I, I feel super proud. Yeah, me too. And especially when, when you know, I went to Moscow in 2012 and mm -hmm. I went to the, the Temple of Christ the Savior, mm -hmm. which is huge, has an underground church. Yeah. Huge. It's actually bigger than mm -hmm. Saint Salat. I think it's bigger. Like the entire complex, the, the, maybe the temple itself. It's not because really Saint Salat mm -hmm. temple is really huge. I can't. I, I don't know. We can we can read about it, but the whole you know place around it is just bigger. It's a bigger yeah. bigger deal. And I remember I I was in awe. Of, you know when I visit, I was like completely overwhelmed. And at the time. The temple looked completed from the outside, but it, it was completely, you know, zero in the inside. You know, you, yeah. you basically had a resemblance of a church in one corner, and that's practically it. Yeah, yeah. But now... <laughs> <laughs> Mind now, blown. Now, I'm like, I can easily say that to me, it's more impressive than Kharam Christus Pasiti. Really, mm -hmm. really, really more impressive. But yeah, yep. I, I mean, if you if you visit Serbia, especially Belgrade, and you don't visit the St. Sala Temple, you, you, you are missing out real big. Uh, you probably missed the best thing in Belgrade, literally, literally. Like, yeah. it is just that awe-inspiring. So, regardless of what people might feel about the new patriarch, um, ecumenism, supposed ecumenism, and by the way, people I think misuse this term very much. But oh yeah, yeah, let's talk about that in, a, in another episode. Um, all that aside, 
let's let's pray for the new patriarch and let's uh, and uh, let's hope it's not what we deserve. <laughs> let's mm. let's hope it's 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 a gift of from from God. Um, amen. Amen. Uh, I guess the word is axios. Axios. I leave it at that. Amen. <laughs>